growth in the knowledge of and in the relationship with the Lord Jesus. You have participated and led us through this journey, this pilgrimage, for the last 17 years. Our paths will now separate from each other, but thinking of a journey and just a separation of paths from now helps me to cope a little bit better with the reality of it. But it has been a good journey. Relatively recently, unrelated to your departure, Monsignor, I realized that I finally could think of the events of that problematic year before your arrival here and not feel disturbed or emotional about them any longer. I felt that I have been finally healed from that wound and you were the pastor who shepherded me through that desert. I thank you for that. And for many other experiences that we lived through over these years, not the least of which is the fact that the, the, God, the call from God to me for the diaconate ministry was mediated by you. And, uh, and the support that you have given, given me all along has always been there. So I think that many others here also would share similar, adapted to each one's circumstances, but similar feelings of gratitude to you on our journeys. Monsignor, be assured that we will be remembering with fondness, the good, the, with fondness the good times we shared in the journey with you, and we will be praying that the Lord will remain with you in whatever steps you, you take along your new way. Thank you, Monsignor. to call Deacon Tom. We all have papers. <laughs> <laughs> Monsignor Robert, when you came here 17 years ago, you were the right person at the right time for this community. In your homily last evening, you mentioned that when the bishop asked you about it, he gave you a slight smile. I think perhaps that's because you knew what you were walking into. We had gone through a number of different pastors in very quick rotation. I guess he figured you were going to be a bit more tenacious. 17 years tenacious. And you also mentioned that he gave you a second smile. I think maybe that was because he told you that there was a pool of water in the church hall. And you probably thought, that's a strange place to do baptisms. It wasn't until you got here that you realized that our foundation was leaky, 